Hi, Miss Benita here. Welcome back. This is the last lesson in changing landforms and it is broken up into two parts. In the last lesson, we gathered different pieces of evidence to help us explain how landforms can erode quickly. In this lesson, we'll create diagrams and write explanations about why the nearby cliff eroded overnight. So let's begin with this first activity, looking at the use of evidence in diagrams. Our ideas about how landforms erode quickly have changed as we've learned through reading books and investigating models. The information we've gathered from models and text can be used as evidence to support our ideas and explanations. When scientists gather more evidence, they often revise their ideas based on the new evidence. This means they also revise their diagrams to help explain their new ideas. Why is it important for scientists to revise their ideas based on evidence? Revision is an important part of learning. Remember when we started out with this chart? How can landforms erode quickly? We added ideas as we learned them. And this is how we revised our ideas through the unit. We kept track of the things that we learned based on the evidence that we gathered. All right, this is the last activity in part one of the last lesson. Let's do a little bit of diagramming, okay? We created diagrams of how this cliff could have eroded overnight, but now we have new ideas about how this could have happened. We now have some more information about the nearby cliff that might help us think about how it eroded quickly. Some of this information might be useful and some of it might not be. Our first job will be to see which information is useful for explaining why the nearby cliff eroded so quickly. Let's take a look at the new information. There is a walking path nearby. Plants are growing in the area. The ocean is at the bottom of the cliff. The cliff is made of loose soil and clay. The color of the cliff is brown. When a person picked up some small pieces of the cliff, the pieces crumbled in the person's hand. Let's review each piece of information to decide whether it helps us ex explain how the nearby cliff could erode overnight. Okay. You'll find these in your packet as well. So if you'd like, you can pause the video and review them. You might want to circle some that you think might be helpful. This is what they look like in their packet. All right, what ideas do you have about the new list of information here? Make sure we support our ideas with what you know about erosion, all the things that you've learned. All right, some of you said that this might be helpful, that the ocean is at the bottom of the cliff, because we know that waves do cause erosion. And some of you checked this box here, right? Or circled it. The cliff is made of loose soil and clay. And we know that loose materials erode more quickly. And others of you picked this one. When a person picked up some small pieces of the cliff, the pieces crumbled in the person's hand. That's evidence that it's not hard rock. All right, so let's see how we can use these new pieces of information. I'd like you to turn to this page in your packet, diagramming how the nearby cliff eroded. Let's review the directions. 
And remember, if you do not have the packet, any piece of paper that you have in your household and a pencil will do just fine. First, let's visualize how the nearby cliff could erode quickly based on the evidence we have. In this diagram from yesterday, the nearby cliff was bigger. And then today, you can see that it's been worn away. It doesn't have that same angle, right? It's kind of crumbly right here. Now I'd like you to create your new diagram in the center using what you know about how landforms erode quickly. If a family member is available, maybe the two of you can get together and do this together. Go ahead and pause the video so that you can work on it. All right, welcome back. Let's review. Some of you drew the cliff as big pieces of rock were coming off. And this happened overnight because some of you thought that a storm came through and, the, and others of you drew rain coming in and gusts of wind and big waves crashing. You included the ocean is at the bottom of the cliff and that's where the waves came from and that the cliff is made of loose soil, and that's where these big pieces of rock have fallen from. All right. We use new information about the nearby cliff to help us think about how it eroded quickly. In the next lesson, we will put it all together to explain why the nearby cliff eroded so quickly. See you then.